So our relying on Dorsey Shugden is mainly about developing faith. So we, we make, uh, we develop a mind of faith and then we, we make prayers to be cared for by him. So it's really very simple. Reliance is really about remembering Buddha as often as we can. So whether we're close to Buddha or not depends upon how often we remember. How often do we consciously connect to Buddha? And that's not easy for most people because when I look around, like, where is Buddha then? Where's Buddha when I need him? Because we, going back to that idea from this morning, that we are blighted, as it were, by the inner darkness of ignorance. We can't see Buddha. And the only way that we can see Buddha is, is with our eyes of faith. So Buddha said, whenever anybody visualizes me or thinks about me, I will be there. So we have to trust this, and it's impossible for Buddha to tell a lie because Buddha's mind is completely pure and free from any uh, deceptive motivation. So we try to remember or visualize or think about Buddha as often as we can, and then we can make request prayers, like asking for help. So this is what the second part of the practice of heart jewel or wish fulfilling jewel is, is really what it's all about. You know, we invoke Dorji Shugden and then we make offerings and requests with a mind of strong faith. 